good morning students today we are going to discuss nanomaterials so before nanomaterials uh, we will discuss about nanotechnology nanotechnology may be defined as the manipulation of atoms and molecules at nanoscale nanoscale means 1 billionth scale to produce devices structures or systems having at least one novel or superior property right so again i repeat nanotechnology can be defined as manipulation of atoms manipulation means modification of atoms and molecules at nano scale to produce devices structures and systems having at least one new or superior property the materials having at least one dimension in the nano scale are called nanomaterials the conceptualization of nanotechnology was done by Richard Feynman in 1959. The impact of nanotechnology is quite significant. When the bulk materials are reduced to nanometer size, the properties exhibited by these nanomaterials have tremendous use. For example, opaque materials become transparent like copper. Copper is opaque material when it is reduced to nanometer size, it becomes transparent and gold is an insoluble substance when it converts to a nano size substance it becomes soluble and same aluminium aluminium is a stable material aluminium is a stable material and when it is converted to a nanometer nanoscale or nanoscale size when it's converted to a nano material it becomes combustible actually it is a stable material means properties are modified properties can be manipulated or we can say modified in the in those cases in fact at normal scale gold is chemically inert but at nano scaled gold nanoparticles can serve as a potential potent chemical catalyst the study of some nanomaterials is known as nanoscience right so nanoscience has a wide range of applications in both discovering new processes as well as materials for use in the variety of fields from medicine to electronics. Nanoscience allows synthesis of variety of nanomaterials. Right? Again I repeat nanoscience allows synthesis of variety of nanomaterials such as shape, size, defect surface characteristics and self-assembly can be manipulated to obtain useful devices. The combination of number of possible materials coupled with the concepts of nanoscience is not boggling, right? Uh, so we will discuss about nanoparticles, zero dimensional nanoparticle, one dimensional nanoparticle, two dimensional and three dimensional nanoparticles. The nanoparticles are classified on the basis of dimensions as zero dimensional and one dimensional nanoparticles. Examples of zero dimensional nanoparticles, nanomaterials are nanoparticles, zero dimensional nanomaterials are nanoparticles, nanoclusters, nanocrystals, and examples of one dimensional nanoparticles are nanotubes, nanofibers, nanowires. The direct incorporation of these nano architecture in existing material to improve their impurity properties is often referred to as incremental technology or you can say the self assembly of these nano sized building blocks into two dimensional and three dimensional structure may yield entirely new structure and functionalities referred to as evolutionary nanotechnology okay so we can say uh, nanoparticles are classified as different uh, dimensional nanoparticles such as zero dimension nanoparticles zero dimension nanoparticles are nanoclusters nanocrystals nanoparticles uh, right Nan these are zero dimension nanomaterials and one dimension nanomaterials are nanotubes nanofibers nanowires right and when these one dimension nanofibers are combined to form building blocks to become a two dimension nanoparticle and three dimension nanoparticle structure right so in the next uh, topic a zero dimension structure is the simplest building block that may be used for nanomaterials these materials have diameter less than 100 nanometer and as denoted by nanoparticles 
nano clusters and nano crystals nano particles are defined as amorphous and semi crystalline zero dimension nano structures whose dimension is larger than 10 nanometer right and for amorphous or semi crystalline nano structures are smaller in size uh, with a narrow size distribution the term nano cluster is more appropriate the term nano cluster is more appropriate cluster is similar to small molecular cages of fixed sizes analogous to bulk material right so nanoparticles and nano clusters are different from colloids nanoparticles and nano clusters are different from colloids the term colloid is used to describe solid liquid or solid gas suspension like paints smoke and smoke although both type of materials have uh, same within the nano range the difference is with respect to the control over size and morphology right or uh, you can say analogous to bulk materials a any nano material that is crystalline should be referred as nano crystal the term should be reserved for those materials that are single crystalline materials again any net nano material that is crystalline should be preferred as nano crystals right so this term should be reserved for those materials that are single crystalline if a particle exhibit only one region crystallinity it is termed as nano particle or nano cluster depending on its dimensions a special case of nano crystal that is comprised of semiconductor is known as quantum dot a special case of nano crystal that is comprised of a semiconductor is known as quantum dot typical the dimensions of these nano structure lie in the range of 1 to 30 nanometer based on its composition quantum dots currently find applications as sensors lasers and leds long term applications for these structures include optical computing and high efficiency solar cells right so nano materials can be classified based on the dimension in following categories first if only one dimension of the material is reduced to nanometer range and the other dimensions remain large the nano material is called quantum well if only one dimension is reduced right example of quantum well is nano rod or nano wire right if two dimensions of the material is reduced to nanometer range and one dimension remain large then the nano material is called a quantum wire or tubes fibers platelets etc if all the three dimensions are reduced to nanometer range then the nano material is called quantum dot right and the quantum dot has a nanometer range uh, less than 100 nanometer clear okay thank you very much